Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a really weird thing you haven't seen in ages. A beauty tutorial. Yes, so I'm so tired of this. I'm so sick of this, guys. So, what am I going to do? You can guess it in the title and in the thumbnail. And yeah, I'm doing a perm. Basically, the last time I have done one is literally five years ago. Five, six years ago, yes. Before I went to Bali to get married, so five years ago. I have wave hair. The thing is, after all the pregnancies and all of this, like when you are pregnant, you get a lot of hair. When you are postpartum, you lose a lot of hair and all of this weather changing. And I mean, all of this type of colors I've done, I've destroyed my waves um, and my hair in general. So I'm trying to get it long, but I want my waves back. And now it's look a mess because all of this gets wavy, but all of this gets really flat. So the purpose of all of this is to create a nice wave through the play, through all the hair. The truth is many of you will be like, oh, do you really wanna have curly hair? I love curly hair. Like I'm a really lover of curly hair. And okay, the perm can look a little bit weird at the beginning, but believe me, for me, it's gonna be a life savior because have curly hair, it's just gonna be like, I just have to style it and then just keep it for four days, three days and wash it again and it will be perfect, which for me that I don't have a lot of time at all to get it styled, that's, that's the problem now, I don't have time to style it. So yeah, anyway, stay tuned. I'm gonna try to share with you as much as possible and to share with you as many tips as possible. Make sure you give me a huge thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share and you leave me nice comments letting me know what you think about this beauty tutorials I'm trying to share with you this 2020. sorry i couldn't do it this video all the time in the camera because i didn't want to make much noise <laughs> she's sleeping so i need to do as quick as possible while he naps because okay put the products i don't want to put the products neither around them because it's going to be really strong i will have to open the window and everything to make sure they don't really inhale the product but well i just have this little piece missing i did i can't believe this looks me this this time like it's not that much i thought it's gonna take me like double time but no i think also it's because i'm doing how i like which is all messed up if i was more precisely you know like doing all my lines that's how we do in the salon you know like we divide in six sections and then we um we have to do each section in a different direction this way i'm just like you see i'm just taking pieces of hair not really thick ones and then the most important thing is to comb them to make sure they are completely straight because how you put them in the roller is how they are gonna come out. So you don't want to have a tangled uh, curl, right? Or messed up your hair. So that's really important. Something else you need to bear in mind um, before you start doing this is if your hair is like mine, it's gonna get dry halfway before you are done. Not 100% dry, but it's gonna be not wet and you can't put the product on damp hair like this has to be proper wet so what you are gonna have to do now is fun spray around the house and spray water on your hair you don't have spray at home go under the shower and put water all over and make sure you're making your hair really really wet because if you put a product straight away on kind of almost dry hair what you're gonna do is you're gonna burn it literally burn it that's not what we want here we're gonna have nice wavy curly hair as well another thing is the size of the roller are really important i'm doing a big one because i just want a little bit of wave if you want like proper proper a lot of curls really beautiful little curls you have to do obviously 
a much smaller size than this. That I used to do it so many years ago when I used to have really, really long hair. Because if I was doing this one, it was not enough to curl, but I know when I have short hair, this size is perfect enough just to give volume and waves to my hair. So yeah, I'll see you once I'm done, all right? Keep watching. Okay, so here we are with wet hair. Huh? I'm getting all my face wet. Okay, um, I put the towel so my, my clothes will not be super, super, super wet, even if I'm already wet. I'm using also this towel, it's a really old one. I already um, dropped a little bit of bleach a few months ago, so it's just the one I use when um, I'm doing my hair color or things like that. So both of the kids are around, I just opened the window because obviously I don't want the smell to go directly to them. And I am going to start applying the You're products. Wet. I know I'm getting wet, so I'm gonna use this uh, P2. Um, this is from Echo Slime. Okay, so this one is for color and treated hair. And once you open it, this is the way how you always do a perm. Okay, you will always have two bottles. So one of them, let me have a look. One is the perm and the other one is the neutralizing. Okay, the neutralizing. Yeah, neutralizing. No, 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 no. Okay, that, you see, this is why you don't do this surrounded by children, okay? Thank goodness it's a new one, as you can see, please. This new one is completely closed. She so just play with it. No, baby, we don't play with this. This is really dangerous, okay? This is just for mommy hair. No, no, no. I can take one for your hair. Yeah, we need to put it now like this on mommy hair. Okay, so. Um, what we have to do is we're gonna apply this one. Anyway, you have all of this information I'm giving you here, okay? So we're gonna put, we are going to put this one first, okay? And then this one, we are going to leave it. I don't want to make up my thingy, but... Okay, so, uh, so uncomfortable because a lot of water is falling. Um, what we have to do is, first we're gonna put this one. This one we're gonna leave it between seven to 15 minutes in our hair. Everything depends on how um, curly you wear your hair. I want it so curly, so I'm gonna literally leave it 15 minutes. But anyway, they always suggest you, you have a look on your curls. So what you will have to do, you will have to open one. Normally you, um, you will have to open the last one that you have applied the product. So if you start from back front, so you will have to check this one first and then see how this curl is. If this curl is really good, this one, it's amazing, that, okay? That's, that's amazing. the thing. So let's apply this one and let's see you after you apply this one and I will tell you how many minutes I'm gonna wait for it and everything. Try to do it as quick as possible because the problem will be if you take so long, um, obviously by the time I want to finish my hair, this one will be done. So that's why you need to be quick. And another thing is, um, make sure you make each one of them really wet. So you will go one by one, sh 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 making sure it's that's the roots and it's properly covered. Okay? So I will see you in a minute. <laughs> you can see you need to cover you need heat some people in so many tutorials you see they will suggest you to put one of these cups that you put the dryer and then you start to give heat to your head i will suggest you to please 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 don't do that because you can burn your hair just buy one of these ones it's normally come with the full set of the perm i have it from so many years ago when I start studying and um, I can tell you that it's all come together. So this one is gonna give you the perfect heat. We are gonna leave our hair now like this. Be really careful when you remove this because your hair has been with the product for so long. Make sure when you remove this, you remove it in an open area, uh, window and everything uh, room, okay? Don't do it in a closed room because it's gonna be a really strong smell and you don't want this smell around all your house. I'm in the toilet, I'm just kind of like with my head in the window, trying to make sure I'm not gonna leave in the smell a lot around. So let's gonna keep this for the next seven to 15 minutes. It's entirely up to you. I know my hair, so I'm gonna keep it for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna show you later. After for 15 minutes, we have to come back to the toilet, rinse it out really well with 
warm cold water and then we are gonna use bottle number two which is the neutralizer okay same way that we did not i'm gonna take jose um so yeah that's what we're gonna do see you in 15 minutes bye we need to open this smelly, stinky, uh, yucky uh, 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 thing. Okay, this one. Normally, if you have cotton, it's better than this, okay? Because obviously, this you can see it just smells. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so what I want to show you is this. Ah, no! Ah! My whistle! <laughs> Be careful. Okay, so look. Now, when I take off one of these ones, First of all, this is how you remove, okay? You give it a little bit of a shake, okay? And you can see my hair is already, can you see the wave? Perfect. We are almost done, guys. We're almost done. Okay, now, go to the shower. Rinse it out with, as I said, warm, almost cold water. And come back here, okay? I'll see you. I'm freezing out. Here we are. I rinse it out. It's all gone. The smell is almost gone from my house. It doesn't smell that much. And the neutralizer, it doesn't really um, smell much. So now again, what you have to do is one by one, one by one, go through all of them. Once you're sure you have um, done all of them, then you will, um, just like me before, just throw it all over around. And you are going to leave this one between eight and 10 minutes. So it's not much. Make sure, as I say, to apply it as quick as possible. And when you reach the last one, when you finish the barrel and then you're sure. I could say, when you reach the last one, then you start counting the eight to 10. Even you keep throwing more things around, but from there, start to count the time, eight to eight, 10 minutes, and then it will be done. And then we are gonna remove all of them really nicely and slowly. I will show you later how to do it. Don't just pull it, okay? Because then this will be all for nothing, okay? So, I wanna shout it up to the world You got me all worked up Got me spinning I'm crazy for love Crazy for love Okay, so The 10 minutes has come to an end Here come the trickiest part ever This will determine how your hair is gonna look So be really careful what you're gonna do, okay? Pay really attention And keep this in mind you need to be really, really careful. And I'm freezing cold and I can't wait for a warm shower, to be honest. So let's do it quickly. Don't twist it. That's a small thing. I really want you to keep in mind. If it's your first time, I will even, I was traveling now and I was thinking about it. Just write them down. So if you're not watching my video while you are doing the step by step, at least that important thing you're going to remember. Remove the curl list nicely. Don't twist the towel. Just look. I just put it one side on top of another. And then that's it. Because it's a long towel. It's going to absorb all the hair. It's not going to leak out. And then I'm just gonna leave it like this for a few minutes. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, comb it. I'm gonna use a curly hair comb. You're gonna see it's completely different of what other type of hairs use. This one is gonna be a long and a, like a, has like teeth, really separate ones. You will see now, I'm gonna show you through it, gonna, don't worry. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of diffuser and I'm gonna leave it nice and tidy. Um, I stay upstairs any longer, the kids don't let me. Um, this is the type of brush you should use from now on, okay? This is for curly hair, all right? So you're gonna use this, so it's gonna gently brush your curls without destroying the hair anyway. This is what curly hairs use, okay? So I'm gonna use this one. Yes, I know, baby, gonna, one second. You're gonna use this one, and then you're gonna use the diffuser. I'm gonna show you right now. No products at all the first time. I know it's not gonna look perfect, but it's gonna look good enough, okay? Just think, this is the first step to have an amazing hair. That's it. That's how you have to look at things. So, yeah. I really hope you have like all of this so far. And I'm going to show you the result in a few minutes. You know what to do, to do.
okay this is how crazy my hair looks like right now but i really like it it has so much volume that it didn't have before um and Obviously. then on wednesday i'm gonna wash it and i'm gonna put the products and i'm gonna style it and you will see how amazing it looks believe me you're gonna love it i know the first day as i said it looks weird especially when you don't put any products but yeah it's gonna look much much better in a few days so stay tuned uh, because now it's really we are about to finish anyway i'm gonna leave in the description box down below i'm gonna leave you my um amazon affiliation links to every single product that i'm using and every single tool that i'm using in this video that i have bought in amazon if you buy through that um link you're gonna help me a lot you're gonna help me earn a little bit of money and i always try to find the cheapest and best deals for you to pay less with the same amount of products and quality and everything so yeah have a look on the link down below if you are interested of any of the products that i used and days don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you haven't done it yet share with others that you think they would like to do a nice um <laughs> yeah i'm bringing nilo's asking for the dinner so i need to go um share with others that you think they would like to have a nice um change of look for this 2020 and i'll see you on the next one guys